Oh, what do I know about bushcrafting? Not a lot. Um, my grandfather used to tell me stories of guys who would go into the woods late at night and dance around a fire or something. I don't know. But I've, I've heard it's kind of neat. They would stay out there for days and, and wouldn't come back and sometimes they'd come back covered in blood. I'm not really sure what that was about. I don't know if he was just exaggerating or not, but that's what I know about bushcrafting. Oh, what type of guys do bushcrafting? Well, my grandfather used to tell me that the guys who do bushcrafting um, just have gigantic, huge hands and they can grip a log and, and just shred it with one hand. and um, They always got the ladies and people giving them candies and treats and, and they would uh, walk around and make guttural sounds with and just with these ginormous testicles like bowling balls. That's, that's what he used to say. I, I don't know if any of that's true. Oh, do I know if I have what it takes to be a bushcrafter? No, I don't know what I... I mean, I'm just a dumb hiker. I go out in the woods, I follow a map, so I, I don't know. I'm hoping that this challenge will uh, help me to see, you know, test my mettle and make sure that I have what it takes to be a true bushcrafter. But I'm up for the challenge, that's for sure. All right, kids, I've been challenged, or I've been, a request has been made of me to start a fire. What I failed to do in my last video, to start a fire with a ferro rod, um, and the person who challenged me was the solo hiker, and take a look at this, this is what, this is what he said. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set up here and I'm going to start a fire the ferro rod um, using various materials and I'm going to hopefully be successful this time but just a ferro rod and maybe char cloth um, I think I've got some I got a cotton ball not soaked in Vaseline I've got a uh, like a makeup like a cotton makeup pad because I, I don't wear makeup I'm just saying I've got it um, so I'm gonna try and start a fire I'm in my garage because my neighborhood is noisy it's windy and I don't want to be disturbed. So it's gonna be a small fire, not gonna be a major fire. So let's get, let's do it, let's do this. I'm up for the challenge, because I got the headband. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to test out my different pieces of uh, tender here so that I can try to um, see if I can get this technique down. That's that's the first and probably the best thing to do here. So I'm holding this and apparently I'm supposed to pull away. Okay, first one. That's the cotton pad. Pretty successful start there. As you can see. <laughs> All right, so that's number one. So let's move on to the cotton ball. Now this does not have um, this does not have any Vaseline on it, and I'm using my Mora. I'm using the back of it. I'm not using the blade. It's a funky angle that I'm doing it, but let me shave off some first. And according to Solo Hiker's instructions, I'm supposed to pull the, the rod away from the knife, not the knife towards the tender. So that's what I'm trying to do. There, look at there. Pow! Number two lit. Good stuff. Okay. So. Number two, let's try, let's try number three here. Oops. 
basically shave some of the air. This takes practice, guys. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Why is this one so difficult? not working. Okay, we'll just add that in later. So I think we can safely assume that these two, um, these two are good, good things to start with. All right, so now what I'll do is I will set up, I'll be back, I will set this up so that I can start the fire in my fire bowl. All right, here we go. Okay, so I forgot to mention earlier, um, I, forgot, I forgot to do the, the char cloth thing. So I have, a, I have my char cloth that I made the other day, and I made a bird's nest out of uh, some jute. I have my kindling right here, and my fire bowl close. Now, I watched Solo Hiker's uh, video today, and he folded the char cloth. So I'm going to try and recreate that. And hopefully, I can make a fire with this. I'm hoping I can do this. So, pray for me. Okay, so we'll set this aside. Now, I tried this earlier, and this stuff went up. This this jute this jute went up pretty quickly. So, I'm going to adjust my timing on all that. So, we're going to try it with one strike, hopefully. Okay, we got a number, as you can see, ow. So I'm going to put the bird actually in the fire bowl this time. So I'm going to fold this on itself, and then... I set it in the bird's nest. Here we go. There it goes. We have a fire. So we're going to throw some tim some kindling in there. Some small. See if we can get something to take. Throw some cotton balls in there, whatever we need. This all. I hope this this is better than the previous video I did, where nothing was catching. But this seems to be working. Yeah. His challenge to me was to build a bigger fire, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to keep it small like this. But the point is, I was able to do it. Um, I used the, the bird's nest, and I think that's a good way to do it in this jute. So there you go. We have a fire. Successful. Yay! Am I a real bush, bushcrafter yet? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but I'm gonna still still going to learn. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. This, you know, I'm, I'm just a hiker. I don't know what I'm doing. But by watching other people's videos, that has taught me how to do this. So, go me. Alright, well thanks for watching, guys.
Let's see if we can get a better shot of this here. 